Summer's here, and the time is right for, well, in a typical year, that list might include a trip to your town's local recreational park. With temperatures routinely up in the 80s or higher, a dip in the town pool or swimming area might be part of that, along with other outdoor activities. But as we all know, 2020 isn't your typical year. The COVID-19 emergency has forced many public facilities, like rec parks, to impose restrictions or curtail summer programs that would normally be available. While in Vermont, a measured and gradual reopening of the state continues, even as other parts of the country are seeing a surge in new cases of the coronavirus, state and local officials have been cautious when it comes to what they're comfortable with, allowing at town and state parks. Speaking of the state parks, they'll be reopening on Friday, June 26th. Town parks, like those in Manchester and Arlington, have been open more or less right on through the pandemic, but with limitations. And as the summer arrives, those limitations are impacting some of the summer programs in particular that used to be safe places for parents to enroll their children in during their summer holidays. To get a clearer idea of what's going on, we talked with Jacqueline Lewicki and Brian Van Horn at the Manchester Rec Park. The popular swimming pool there has been shut down for the summer, but they're evaluating just about everything else on a week-to-week -week basis. As part of the uh, remobilizing of everything, we've also asked that all the park users that will be now trying to get their kids back together also come up with a, a game plan, if you will. I mean, you're not allowed to play games as of yet, but just to give us an outline of what their practices will look like and what steps and measures that they'll have in place to ensure not only, say, the pre-screening and the health of their participants, but also just a basic outline of how they'll go about trying to follow suit with the limited touching, you know, it, it, it's hard, you know, step where they're at. They all have their own helmets their own bats and everything like that. Obviously you can participate with baseball without sharing the baseball at least. So we've spoken to them about trying to have your children stay in like pods or, or groups, if you will, where the same kids catch with each other. Say they're in the batting cage, you know, usually you would have the kids pick up all the balls after the coach was done pitching. So we just said, you know, just simple things like that. Just have, you know, the coach walk over and pick up the balls and the less common touch points and, you know, just making sure that everybody who's, you know, being dropped off to participate on that given day is aware of the restrictions that are now in place and is obviously of good health without, you know, any projected symptoms of the, you know, which anything that could be construed as a respiratory situation. All like outside right yes. programs like it wouldn't be our like our camp is still very questionable at this moment because of the restraints that we have in the park house and the limit of number that we can have as for you know the baseball we're just using them as an example because they've actually filled out all of their paperwork we've sent the paperwork to the ela and other places we, we can't hire back any of our kids that are our counselors our lifeguards and you know we, we, we truly can appreciate and understand the the service or the, the the need for the summer camp for the folks who live in the community to have something for their children Especially so i mean backwards. we have spent countless hours doing research and trying to find every available means possible to, to, to facilitate making that happen. But at, at, with the current guidelines that are in place, it's just not possible for us to do the camp at this time. Sure. We also had the chance to speak with Christine Ferris Hubbard, the education director at Merck Forest. They'll be offering three summer camp programs, limited to six persons each, running during July and August. Um, so the pandemic is certainly changing things up a little bit. Um, we have made the decision to run our summer camps this year, um, but we have made them um, much smaller. So we've reduced the number of campers that we're going to have just to help um, maintain that social distance and to be able to manage the camps in a safe way, both for the campers and for our staff. Um, we are requiring people to pre-register for all of our workshops 
um, and then closing off registration about 30, 72 hours prior to the event happening so that we can make sure that we're communicating um, the protocol that we're going to be following during um, those different programs. Um, Meanwhile, at the Dorset Quarry, a popular place for many to relax and swim, it's also open. Although social distancing guidelines are in place and visiting group sizes are limited to 25 people or fewer. One final note, the 4th of July fireworks normally held at the Manchester Rec Park have been postponed until later this year. The hope is to be able to have them later on, perhaps in September. Getting outdoors and getting some physical exercise is widely considered to be a good tonic for too much enforced indoor time, so we'll see you at the Rec Park. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.